I remember. Oh yes, I remember. Oh yes, I remember. There is yet a truth. Do you remember? Oh, oh yes, I remember. Oh yes.
Let's round off our prayers. Amen. Let's be quiet. And let's consider the following issues. Let me ask this question. Pay attention. I'm asking you, is it proper to send somebody on an errand and uh, now create obstruction for him? Is it, is it right to ask somebody to go and cut down an Iroko tree with a table knife? Does anybody go on a warfare at his own charges? Hey! Can somebody blind see the glory of the sun? Can somebody that is blind... Look up and see the stars twinkling and see a shooting star fly. We must be pained. We have to be pained. There is yet a throne and we must see that throne. Now, listen to me. If he made Isaiah to come to his senses in order that he might be qualified for ministry, brethren, am I asking you, ought he not to make us to come to our senses? Which one is better? Is it that we are fighting ourselves or that we are praying for ourselves? Which one is better? Don't you see that we are in a predicament? Don't you see that we need him? If this thing we are secular duty, I would have resigned long ago. If you know how my heart is, I need the Holy Spirit. And you need the Holy Spirit. We need our eyes to open. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. My friend, that is the best friend, when we were not believers during the war, became a believer and wrote me a letter. And said, Aloysius, don't you know that Jesus Christ is going about seven sinners? That was mid-1974. And that letter kept me thinking until I gave my life to Christ after observing him. And this, my friend, was a super teller in our nature and would make money, real money. During Christmas, you would make real money. But guess what? And the Lord was calling him to pack. But that money and his expertise in dressmaking wouldn't allow him to pack. I've told you before. And one day, early in the morning, he went to the bathroom to take his bath. And as he entered, he had not removed his dreads. And the Lord Jesus appeared and stood. Physical. And the glory filled the place. And this individual became dumb. Odd. Couldn't say anything. Didn't ask any question. Couldn't say anything. Was speechless. His tongue cleaved out the roof of his mouth. 
he bemoaned himself and was gazing and gazing and gazing and gazing. And after a while, the Lord disappeared. And this individual left the bucket and went back to his room and lay down inside the bed and drew the curtain and spent three days in that bed and did not want to see any human being. After that, he packed. I cannot use this eye that I used to see Jesus to see bloody human beings. Three days. No food. When we see him later, you will wish you killed yourself for him. But it's not late. He that is glorious, he that spread his hands on the cross, he that is coming again in the glory of his power, and his word will constitute the sword with which he will destroy the Antichrist. His word is a sword. And will set his feet on the Mount of Olives and rule the whole world. Him that John, John the beloved, the revelation writer, saw and finished. Him that Daniel saw and uh, went down on his, uh, on his legs and his palms and his comeliness disappeared and he trembled. He must open, he must show himself. Otherwise, let watchman close. He must reveal himself. The Spirit of God must reveal Jesus to us. That song that I sang came out here now. Did you sing it before? Was there any such song before? As I was there and God put that song on my mouth. I remember there is yet a throne and I want to see that throne. Here it was crafted. If you see that throne you will finish you will go out and begin to say who wants to hear me i want to tell you about jesus the world is ending and that is what the watchman needs because the day is bad and when the holy spirit checks out he will check away i have told him did you see those of us that are suffering any ailment how can the Holy Spirit shake you and then, and then shake you and will not shake away diabetes from you? Bow down your heads and let's pray. Eternal Father, I want to thank you. I want you to agree with what I'm saying. Lord, nobody goes on a warfare at any time at his own charges. Nobody can send somebody on an errand and make rain that the rain should stop the person. Lord, if somebody gives somebody an assignment, it should give him an enabling environment. It should give him resources. Lord, I want to say that it didn't belong to people of old. The great conviction that Apostle Paul had that made him to say, I want to die for Jesus. Hey! Open your eyes and look to me. Wherever you are. A person as learned as Paul, eh? that Agabus a prophet of God, not a false prophet, and came and took his ghetto and bound his own hands. Paul's ghetto and bound his own hands. Said, so will they bind the hands of this person that owns this ghetto. 
Thus saith the Lord, as I demonstrate, so will they bind the hands and feet of the person that owns this ghetto in Jerusalem. And the brethren that knew that the prophecy was for real came pleading with him, don't venture to go to Jerusalem. He said, what me ye to break my heart? He saw something. What me ye to break my heart? I will go to Jerusalem and die in Jerusalem. Hey! Alwe me. How can dead men raise dead men? How can dead men raise dead men? Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. How can dunces raise intelligent people? Please. The game is up. The time is up. Now is the time. I said, now is the time for anybody that wants to follow me to know that this is the watchman. And the watchman has to be on the height. Or I die. I elect to die. I said, I elect to die even today. If I cannot find the Lord doing what I want him to do. What am I living for? What am I living for? To see people go naked in the street. Naked, naked. And they call them nationalists. Naked man, woman. Not wearing dress. To see in the YouTube in everything terrible things posted for our children to consume. In a world and watchman people have decided to remain blind. Why should I be alive? What are you living for? Why are you alive? I'm asking you, why are you alive? Why are you alive? Pastor, why are you alive? And you see more this old people perishing. You see youth being naked. Committing immorality, posting it in the in the YouTube, in the internet, and they are not ashamed. Where are we going? Don't go to hell from the gate of heaven. This thing is serious. If you are not set for for evangelistic things, then beat the fire. If you want to remain in sin, you will destroy yourself. The world is finished. American president has declared that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. And all the Arab world has ganged up. And is going to, is going to continue to form and form and form until it forms so that army that will fight the war of Armageddon. And people cannot see. You can't see the handwriting on the wall. Who will go for the Lord? The Canadian, Canadian young person, not more than 33 years. And a black person stood in the street of London and confronted policemen. 
Why must I not preach Jesus? Jesus that saved me. And defeated policemen. And they gave him well and they continued preaching. Why are we here? I'm afraid. It's time to pray. God forbids. Why am I alive? Why did I torture myself? For 43 solid years. In labor. When I see look this face, beautiful face, beautiful face, I am by when I look at his face, I wish I had given him more, more so. Much more, more of my life than I ever before. By and by, when I look at his feet, I reach out to him. Take your song book and let's sing this song and I'll close with prayer. Song number 205. Take your song book after we have sung the song. Can I pray? Come thou, Almighty King. Help us your name to sing. Help us to praise. Father, all glorious, all, all victorious. Come and reign over us, ancient of days. Come thou incarnate word. God on thy mighty sword, our prayer attend. Come and thy people bless and give thy word success. Spirit of holiness on us descend. Come thou, come holy comforter. Your sacred witness bear in this glad hour. Thou who my almighty art. Now rule in every heart and never from us depart, spirit of power. To you, great one in, th in three, the highest praises be. Hence, evermore, your sovereign majesty may we in glory see, and to eternity love and adore. <laughs>
Thank you, Lord of glory. I praise your name. Thank you for everybody. Thank you because I am sure of the fact that their ears, Lord, are attentive. Assuredly, you have seen everybody. You have taken note of every heart. Sure. You have taken note, Lord, of every heart and of every action and every reaction. Lord, you know very well that the blind cannot lead the blind. Lord, I remember that an arrangement was made for Israel before the Lord Jesus Christ came at the pool of Bethsaida. And the angel came down at a certain season and stirred the waters. And whosoever went into the water, stepped into the waters first, will be made whole. Lord, but there was somebody that was there. He had a 38-year problem. He had had this problem 38 years ago. I do not know when they brought him to the pool. Lord, but there was no person by him to aid him. Lord, you remember that if Jesus did not come there, he would remain there forever and die. Because as he would want to use his uh, buttocks to move, somebody had moved. Some blind person had moved. And he had no hope. He was incapacitated. Lord, I want to say that the incapacitation was not his fault. Lord, we are incapacitated. And if I say that the incapacitation is not my fault, am I wrong? Can I give myself the Holy Spirit? Can I open my own eyes? Lord, the things that I've experienced so far, it is thee that did them. Who make it one to differ from another, Lord? What does one have that he did not receive? Apostle Paul saw Jesus on the way to Damascus. And the glorious sight brought him down from the horse. And he became blind because the sight was dazzling. And he had spontaneous cataract. And you spoke with him. And left an indelible mark on him. And the vision, he said, I couldn't be disobedient to the heavenly vision. He met kings. And he stood his ground. He went to prison and he did not bother. How could somebody just agree to go to prison? If he didn't see anything. How will somebody defy the prophecy of a man of God? A dangerous prophecy that was going to hold. And he said, I would want to die. Lord, I want to ask about this apostle. How could this man be celibate and yet teach married people without lusting? He saw something. His eyes of understanding were opened. Precious master. Precious master. Something made Moses, Lord, to refuse being in the in Pharaoh's palace to enjoy the goodies of Egypt as an adopted son of Pharaoh. Pharaoh's daughter. He was a prince. 
he saw something. Lord Abraham saw three visitors, but knew that they were heavenly inhabitants, that they were not from the land where he dwelt. He saw something. Blessed Redeemer. I know that when Abraham met Melchizedek, he didn't say, I am the priest of the Most High God. I don't think he said that. He just blessed him. And then he gave him tithes of all. He saw something. Joseph saw something. Daniel saw something. Misha, Shadrach, and Abednego saw something. And I said, instead of bowing down to your idol, let's go into the furnace of fire. They saw something. Father, they saw something. Lord, the watchman must see something. All watchmen must see something. Lord, this is my plea. Oh, my father, they must see something. We must see Jesus. There is yet a throne. We want to see that throne. Lord, I want to ask you, Isaiah did not beg for it. Isaiah did not beg for the experience. The day I had the dockyard experience, Lord, I did not bargain for it. I did not beg for it. Precious master. Therefore, now that it is an exigency, I am asking you and I believe you that the watchman people, eternal father, all of my children must have their eyes of understanding opened. One way or another, that we may be watchmen. That we may go after what God wants us to go after. Precious Father. Lord, if we can't see, we are worse than useless. If we have the kind of mindset that the people in the world have, then who will save who? Lord, who will save who? Who will save who? David saw something. Ah. I thank you. I thank you. Lord, I thank you. From the north of this world to the south of this world, from where they came, and from the east to the west, from where they came. Every one of them, Lord, that agrees with what I have said this time around must see something. That is their New Year gift. Lord, they must see something by the Holy Spirit. You make one to differ from another. You make one to differ from another. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. You make one person to differ from another. You are the one that makes somebody to be a king. And makes another person to be a servant. Eternal Father, you created the sun and created the moon. The glory of the sun is higher than the glory of the moon. The heat of the sun. In fact, the, 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 the moon doesn't have light. It reflects the light of the sun. And the moon cannot turn to, the, to you and say, Why did you make, not make me the sun? Therefore, Lord, now that you have elected that we should have this ministry, the Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement, Three Fourth End Time Project, Eleventh Hour Business, 
that must be enabling enabling environment. That must be the resources, the spiritual resources. Number one is for us to see something. Lord, I'm done with the prayer. And I know that it has happened. Lord, I know that it has happened. Because Stephen saw something and prayed for killers who were killing him. Is it not blindness that makes us to pray that our enemies should die? Lord, I thank you. Let the Spirit of the Holy One of Israel come upon every individual that has been in this meeting and is agreeing with what I am saying very mightily that our eyes of understanding may be opened that we may know what we should know and that we may be like our master that we may throw away all the rubbish that we have pursued in times past. Lord, I thank you. All the lackadaisicalness, all the things that are in our nature, in our gene, precious Father, that are contrary. Lord, from excellent glory, Radiate power. Radiate anointing. Let the anointing come from the third heavens. And then go through the second heavens. And then come down through the skies of the first heavens. And enter the earth. Earth atmosphere. And come into the earth. And locate us. And enter us. That is proper. That is done. That is my decree. As I decree it. As an apostle. It is decreed in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Brand new people. No people who deceive one another. No people who defraud one another. No people who castigate one another and talk against one another. The people who are bound by one spirit and one love and one vision. People who are interested in lifting up themselves. Thank you, Father. People who are not holding on to anything and say, this is my own. Lord, I believe you that water facts at your hand and you are granted. You cannot be otherwise I have boasted and boasted and boasted. My boasting is not on the strength of my power or knowledge or anything. My boasting is in the Lord. In your strength. The king shall joy in your strength. And in thy salvation how greatly shall he rejoice. 
thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withhold him the request of his lips, seller. For thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. The king asked life of thee, and thou gavest it him, even length of days forever. Thy glory is great in your salvation. Honor and majesty hast thou led upon him. Komatiana sude. Rekidos matine ti seluzi anaham balad. Lord, Kumatine Rizwa Teni Kantola Yamani President Nintenduzi and Ahabat. Lord, you know that there is somebody that has a key to open the kingdom. And that was given in that day that the Lord Jesus Christ said, And I give you the keys of the kingdom. Aruma Tinea Chuati and Calabre and And I want to thank you, Lord, in glory because after Peter came another person. And after that apostle came another apostle. And after that apostle came another apostle. Like a relay race. And this person passes the baton to this person. And then he reaches me at this point in time. And thou cannot deny me that. That is the truth of the living God. I am an apostle in the watchman. And then I take the key right now. I take the key right now. And I open the door. All door of information. Door of a revelation. And the door remains opened. And the door remains opened. Lord, the door remains opened. Let the heavens open. Lord, let the heavens open. The heavens open. Open the heavens. For your children, open the heavens. For the watchman, open the heavens. Thank you, my father. I take my authority. I cannot beg. I am not begging. It is my authority. Whom you have blessed, you are blessed. Whom you have made to have the power of attorney, he has the power of attorney. You are not a man. We are on a contract. You keep your side of the contract terms. And therefore, I take authority. Eternal Father as an apostle. An apostle is a person that has power of attorney to do what the owner will do. Right now I open the door. The door of revelation. I am not kidding. They shall have it. My children have it. Men have it. Women have it. Boys have it. Everywhere they have it. That's it. That's it. That's it. They have it. You open the places. Open the places. Overseas, open the places. Make them great men and women. Make them people that other people are referring to. I bless your name. How can a black man be a reference point? How can a black man overseas be a reference point? That is the doing of the Lord. That is the doing of the Lord. I said that is the doing of the Lord. And I make that happen today. And I make it happen today. Who is that black man that wants to be a reference point overseas? Who is that person? Who is that person? Come here. You are a black man. You want to be a reference point overseas. Let's see. Who go out on a warfare at any time at his own charges? Who is man? Who is government? Who is man? Who is white man? Who is black man? I am in charge. I said I am in charge. I am an apostle. I said I am an apostle. In Germany, what I say in Germany will happen. What I say about India will happen. What I say about Ghana will happen. What I say about America will happen. What I say about Canada will happen. 
That's how it is. And I declare the declaration. Any of these my children that decide to go, Lord, I make them to go. Go and conquer. Go and conquer. Go and be reference point. Believe you me. Believe me. I'm an apostle. I didn't make myself one. God made me an apostle. And I speak the truth in Christ. I lie not. What I say must happen. It can be otherwise. Somebody is ruling with God. And there are people ruling with God. Do you know that? Lord, I want to thank you. Because in Liberia and in Sierra Leone and in Ghana and in all Africa and in South Africa, Lord, I speak the word right now. The word of authority. The word of an apostle. Great father. All the places of error. I close them. I make diviners mad. Watchman will overcome the places. That's what the apostle said. It's not negotiable. It's not negotiable. I speak by the word of the Lord. It is not negotiable. Contest one ashenda. Who is man? Who is man? What is man? Dust and ashes. We stay here at the headquarters. Of the Lord, the earthly headquarters of the Lord, and we take authority over the kingdoms, over the principalities and powers, and I take authority over them, and I tell them to perish. They shall not hinder you anymore. Why? Why? Who says that in Nigeria the knowledge of the Lord will not cover the streets like that? What has covered the Atlantic Ocean? Who said that? I stay here and tell you in this nation, Washman will be a consultant ministry. I am a consultant. This is the time for favor after the fire. I have taken the fire and this is my time of favor. This is the time I declare it. Listen to me. Boniface will be listening to me. Go to Ghana and conquer it. That's what I said. Diabetes can do nothing. You don't be afraid. You cannot afford to be afraid. Whatsoever you see, you tell that thing that the man of God sent you. Tell that thing. Tell that thing. Tell the something. Tell that problem. Tell that open door. That some authoritative man, some apostle, sent you to Ghana. Full final stop. Who is man? What is man? Man is nothing. Be governor, be anything, be president. He is nothing. Dust and ashes. The owner of the world is speaking. I 
How can the lion beget a goat? Take my gene. I give you my gene. I give you the gene of a fearless person. Take the gene of a fearless person. Let it enter you. A person that doesn't fear, that knows the truth, and the truth will save you, and the truth will conquer error. Take my gene. I said, take it. Take that gene. The gene of truth. The gene of boldness. Because of truth, you will not be destroyed. Take that gene. You wait. I am looking for my children that will respond to what I am saying. I am not a kidder. I don't kid people. And don't kid with me. I don't joke. I'm not a joker. From childhood. For I'm pursuing rabbit. I must catch it. Unless the rabbit is not the hole. No matter whether the hole is perpendicular, we will get it. If I go to fire the weaver bed, it can be in the forest, and I don't care whether there is a cobra that is going to bite me, I must get the weaver bed, and we must put it in soup. Therefore, take my gene, and become a man, and become a Christian in the midst of the lapidated world and you are not compromising 43 solid years nobody can accuse me no woman can say you touched me no person can say you fought me you took my money 43 solid years I didn't come from heaven. My mother, Teresa Hanebo, married, married, uh, married uh, uh, Felix Hanebo and they had me on July 17th, 1944. I didn't come from heaven. Simple and short. Take my gene. You take, you take my mind. And then you go and conquer. I am done. How down your head, I pray last. The word has gone out. You cannot return to God for it. This is the author of many colors. Author of many colors. Blessed Redeemer. Thank you. Blessed Redeemer. Blessed Redeemer. Blessed Redeemer, thank you. Blessed Redeemer, thank you. Blessed Redeemer, thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. My dear Father, thank you. My dear Lord Jesus, thank you. Lord, you know that there are people that love you that are here. Men and women. If you love the Lord, let me hear you shout. Love him. He loved us first. He's coming again. He loved us first. Lord Jesus, look at all these people that have made this confession. And there are those of them that are in the congregation that are in Nigeria. And the things that I am saying are for them too. They are not excluded at all. Thank you, my Father. The branch does not carry the trunk. The trunk carries the branch. Therefore, all of them that have agreed with me and they have come to 
this place and they are saying Lord we go with you now therefore Lord I declare the declaration that is not negotiable all of them will see another thing in their lives another chapter another chapter another chapter Lord another chapter opening in their lives taken over by the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit take over take them over take them over Father take them over take them over take them over take them over over. and let them be a mesmerization to political nonsense that is going on let their words mesmerize mesmerize error Lord as they stand to speak all trance will be given Lord in the day of my master in the day that they went to arrest our master the arresters were arrested and they returned to the elders and they said why did you not bring him we couldn't bring him we read there and his word arrested us no man ever spoke like this man you can go and arrest him yourself thank you lord lord in the course of this meeting anything that will stand as hindrance over the period we've been praying praying for health praying for good health lord this meeting precious master is going to seal things s-e-a-l seal things and stamp them and seal them and then they take them away blessed father there must be some takeaway at the end of the day Lord, I want to thank you because Abraham began ministry at the age of 75. If you said that the age is 70, but you gave me a ministry that requires her to begin at the age of 75, what do we do in the circumstance? Precious Lord, Abraham was 85 and had this person's child from Egypt. Ishmael and at the age of 100 almost he had Isaac which means Abraham was alive and then at the age of 130 something he had children with Ketura six of them wonderful and my my father I am not interested in nonsense I am interested in the real things I am not stating fanciful things. I'm stating realities. Things that can happen. Thank you, Lord. If I bless anybody, the person is blessed. Lord, I bless them. And I bless all of these people. All of them, men and women. Boys and girls. Lord, I remove everything inside them that is obnoxious, not acceptable. Take them all away and give them life that they may be strange people, that they may be the people according to your calling. Wherever you are right now, I want you to stand up and look at Look around to this rock chapel. Look around. And see the recreation that is going on. And begin to tell the Lord, as this place is being recreated, so recreate all my system. Recreate me. Pray, recreate me. Reformat me. Recreate me. Recreate my mind. Thank you, my father. I know you have answered me. I know you have answered me. I know it is done. 
I know it is done. 